One of my more popular videos on this channel is unsurprisingly my video on missing scripts. If you've downloaded more than a couple of packages from the asset store, or even had a project span over more than a year, then you probably come across this missing scripts irritation and then been hugely surprised at the lack of built-in tools to deal with it. Now I have an admission on that video. It missed a vital extra that until recently hadn't actually plagued my door. So what is this omission? Well, it's when a missing script happens to be on a hidden game object. So in this video, I will show you what these hidden game objects are, extend the code for the previous find missing scripts, and help give you a brand new tool to combat the situation completely. So let's start with what hidden game objects are. And you can skip this part by jumping to the next chapter if you already know. But for those that don't know, all the objects in your scene have a property flag called hide flags. Now, I've mentioned them in passing on this channel, but what these allow you to do is control object destruction, saving, and also visibility in the inspector and hierarchy. Now, in this case, we're interested in the flag hide in hierarchy, which when applied to a game object allows you to make it disappear and not show up in the hierarchy at all. Now, you may ask yourself, why on earth would anyone want to do this? Well, take the following scenario. You as a tools developer have a game object that you store all the settings for a particular tool that you run on this scene. Maybe you store the game object IDs between sessions in the editor or display information on other scene objects. Now you could leave this exposed, but the worry might be that a designer comes along and makes direct alterations to it or even deletes it accidentally. So instead you can hide it with this flag. Now alongside this flag, you can also use the hide in inspector on a component for similar sort of reasons. Now there are also flags for making the object temporary in the scene and stopping it from being saved with the scene or into the build. If you would like me to do a video on temporary objects and or hidden objects, then let me know in the comments and I'll be sure to add it to my ever growing list. Okay, let's get back to our missing scripts issue. So the previous code from the last video is shown here and it finds all the missing scripts, including those that happen to be on hidden game object. But herein lies the issue. This example scene has two missing scripts, one on a hidden game object and one not. Now, if I press on the console line for the latter, it will select it in the hierarchy and I can go in and remove the script. Simple, right? However, the hidden game object won't be selected. Instead, I'm left pressing on the console line with no reaction. So what we can do is alter our code to tell us that a game object is hidden. And we can do it with this line here, game object dot hide flags dot has flag hide flags dot hide in hierarchy. So what does this do? Well, the property hide flags, we're asking, have you got this flag? And obviously the flag that we're interested in is, are you hidden in the hierarchy or hide in hierarchy? Now all we need to do is alter our string that we put out into the console to warn us that this game object happens to be hidden. And we do it with this line right here. That's great. Now we won't be left wondering why our selection hasn't been made. But let's go a step further. Let's make a menu option to expose these hidden game objects with missing scripts. In the code, we will copy and paste the missing script tool and rename it to show hidden missing scripts in scene menu item. And we will also change the displayed menu name. Now, instead of just highlighting the issue as we've done previously, let's use that flag to identify the game objects. And then in the next line, let's remove that hidden flag and expose the game object in the hierarchy. We will do one last change, and that is to say what we've done in the debug log so that we know what's happening and we can also select it. Now, if we have hidden game objects with missing scripts, we can easily expose them and delete the problem and move on. If you wish, you can also write a script to rehide those game objects, but I tend to find the ones from the asset store packages that have this issue, I just tend to end up deleting the game object as they don't have any other components on them but the missing script. Now, for those with a keen memory, they'll also know I made a follow-up video to this missing scripts video with automatic deletion of missing scripts. Now, what you've learned here, you can also take to that video and automatically delete these objects. But if you're struggling with producing that code, let me know in the comments for this video and I'll do a follow up to show you how it's done. Of course, as always, for those that didn't realize it, I will leave links in the description to all the videos I mentioned, all the relevant Unity documentation, and of course, any assets you see during the video. You can find them just under the membership option which is there for people that want to get these videos early as they're created and uploaded. So that's it for this video. 
but I have put up the relevant other videos here if you want to delve right on in.